Although many of us rarely get to see these darling little birds, worldwide their numbers are estimated in the tens of millions. Common red poles are a member of the winter finches, a group of finches that includes the red poles, pine siskins, crossbills, and pine and evening grosbeaks. This group breed in northern Canada and are for the most part only seen in southern, more populated areas during the winter when these birds erupt into areas south of their usual range. Eruptions occur when there is a season of good breeding resulting in population growth, followed by a season of winter food shortages, forcing birds to move further south than they normally would in search of food. With common red poles, this behavior seems to take place every second year, and is linked to the production of catkins on birch and alder. A poor crop causes them to move out of their northern range in search of better sources. Small finches of the Arctic tundra and boreal forest, the range of the common red pole extends through northern Europe and Asia, to northern North America, Greenland, and Iceland. In Canada, they are resident birds in the three territories. Their breeding area takes them further north in these territories and over to Newfoundland and Labrador. They also breed throughout Alaska and around the world in the lands that ring the Arctic Ocean. In North America, during winter migration, the little finches move further south across the provinces of Canada and the northern United States. This beautiful little finch measures just 4.7 to 5.5 inches in length. They have a small head and short pointed seed-eating yellow bill with some black feathering. The tail is short with a small notch at the tip. There is a red patch on their forehead, they have two white wing bars, and are brown and white with heavy streaking. This streaky plumage is quite similar looking to pine siskins, and thus can be difficult to distinguish the two species apart. A side-by-side -side comparison shows how very different the two look from one another. Only adult male red poles have the reddish tinge on their chest. Females and immature birds lack the pale red vest. This is a great mark to use when identifying the sex of common red poles. A more difficult bird to tell a common red pole from is the hoary red pole. Hories tend to be paler with less streaking and a smaller bill. Common red poles survive almost entirely on a diet of birch seeds. They also eat many other seeds, such as that of willows, alders, and spruce. They are quite acrobatic and can be often seen hanging upside down from an alder cone as they forage. In addition to seeds, large numbers of spiders and insects are consumed over summer. Each day, they can eat up to 42% of their body mass. In times when food is scarce, or if it's unsafe for them to rest and eat, Red poles have the ability to store up to around 2 grams of seeds in an expandable section of their throat called the diverticulum, giving them enough for roughly a quarter of their daily energy requirements. Before night, they will also fill the diverticulum with seed, providing an extra source of energy to help them get through. Living in areas that see extremely cold temperatures can make it pretty uncomfortable and difficult to forage. These well-adapted smart finches, however, have a workaround. They will knock seeds on the ground or snow, then fly down, retrieve the seeds quickly, storing them into the crop, and finally flee to a more sheltered spot where they can shell and eat them in better warmth and safety. It's incredible how a small bird like the red pole can withstand such cold temperatures, which is largely thanks to thick coats of down they grow before the winter season. In fact, they put on about 31% more plumage by weight in November than they did in July. Their busy sounds and energetic trills and chatters are almost constantly used and can be a good way to locate a flock. Outside of the breeding season, they are very social, often seen in small groups and flocks with upwards of 50 individuals. Even during the breeding season, small flocks can be seen. They may even group into the thousands during migration. In winter, it's quite common to see them with other birds like goldfinches and pine siskins.
One way animal behaviorists commonly test an animal's intelligence is by seeing if it can pull in a string to get a hanging piece of food. Common red poles apparently pass this test with no trouble. Another clever thing they can do is during winter, some common red poles tunnel into the snow to stay warm during the night. Tunnels may be more than a foot long and four inches under the insulating snow. The oldest known wild common red pole was at least seven years and ten months old. It lived in Alaska and was injured by a cat that had caught it. I'm happy to say it was reported that the little one survived its injuries. In Europe, there was apparently a red pole who lived 25 years in captivity. Remarkably, these little birds can be rather wide-ranging, as a few banding records have shown. One bird banded in Michigan was recovered in Siberia. Others in Alaska have been recovered in the eastern U.S., and a red pole banded in Belgium was found two years later in China. If you are lucky to have these friendly birds in your area, try attracting them to your garden by planting birch trees since these produce their favorite food. Alders, too, can attract them, as do willows, elm, pine, and some berry trees. In midwinter, they will happily take advantage of feeders with niger and sunflower seeds or suet. Often, red poles arrive with other birds like goldfinches and pine siskins, making it pretty fun to watch. I'm curious to know if any of you were lucky enough to catch a glimpse. Was it your first time, or have you seen them before? I'll never forget my first time seeing these little birds. It was in my first year birding back in 2011. On one of my first nature walks, I came upon a busy flock feeding on alder cones. I'd love to hear some of your own stories with seeing these birds. Comment below and let me know. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Happy birding.